certain of Allah. كَأَنِّي أَرَى الْجَنَّ وَأَهْلُهَا It's as if I can see myself in Jannah and the people around me. He's certain of Allah's promise. وَإِذَا أَتَيْتَ إِلَى مَعْصِيَ And when I come near to a sin, كَأَنِّي أَرَى يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ It's as if I see myself on the day of judgment about to be asked. So the Prophet ﷺ said, فَإِنَّكَ مُؤْمِنْ Surely that is Iman. Yaqeen, certainty. And that certainty has to lead you and lead you to acceptance. You have to accept. Allah asks you certain things. You can't say some yes and some no. Udkhulu fi silmi kafa. Enter into the faith completely. What you don't understand and can't say yes to, you go back to that second point and ask until you're certain. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of knowledge if you are unaware. You have to accept what Islam says. رَغْمَ أَنْفَكْ Even if you cannot understand it, رَغْمَ أَنْفَكْ Even if your nose is in the dust. Even if you don't like it. Abu Dhar, the great Sahabi, he hears the Prophet say, a person can commit adultery and enter Jannah. A person might kill someone by, by harm and still enter Jannah. And he says, Ya Rasulullah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah will show mercy even to these criminal people. And the Prophet says, yes, Abu Dhar leaves and comes back. Yes, Abu Dhar leaves and comes back. Yes, Raghma Anfak. Even if you don't like it, they will go to Jannah. Accept. And that acceptance has to lead you to submission. You have to submit. You can't just say, yes, yes, I should, and not do. You have to make an effort to do. The danger, we come and stumble, we believe in Allah, but we come, we accept, yes, I know, I know, and then you don't do. It's I know with my tongue, and no with my body, no with my action, no with my iman. Acceptance that leads to action, to submission. And all of that, number five, has to be with sidq, has to be truthful. Don't do it for me. Don't do it for your wife. Don't come into Islam to marry someone because you want to marry her. Come to Islam because of Allah. Sidq, truthful with Allah. That truthfulness will lead you to ikhlas. Number six is sincerity. Be sincere. The moment you stand to pray, my dear brother and sister, your ikhlas is for Allah. Doesn't matter who's there, who isn't there, whether you're alone at home and it's fajr, or you're in the masjid, or you're in Mecca. Your salah is your salah, is your salah, is your salah. Your iman is your iman with whoever and wherever and whenever. Ikhlas. How can you have tawheed? How can you believe Allah is one? And you know, and you stumble. Finally, number seven. The most important, al hub You do all of that because you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because you know if you love Allah, it's because Allah loves you. I conclude with this hadith of the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu When Allah loves a person, He calls Jibreel and He says, Ya Jibreel, I love this man. I love this woman. I order you to love them. Jibreel loves you, loves me, loves us for our love of Allah. And Jibreel calls out to the people in the heavens, to the malaika, Ya Ahl al Sama, O people in the heavens, Inna Allah yuhibbu fulanan. Allah loves this man, Allah loves this woman. I command you to love them. So they love you. Allah then makes people, even your enemy, care for you on this earth. Even the one who wishes you hatred, they stumble in harming you because of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because your tawheed is firm. You know Allah. You're certain of Allah. You accept Allah. You submit to Allah. You are truthful with Allah. You are sincere with Allah. And you love Allah azza wa jal. You are a believer. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with the love of Allah. And to allow us to love those who love Allah. And allow us to love the actions that lead us to the love of Allah Azza wa Jal. أَقُولُ قَوْلِ هَذَا وَأَسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ الْعَظِيمَ لِي وَلَكُمْ الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده محمد بن عبد الله عليه أفضل الصلاة 
wa atamu taslim finally my dear brothers and sisters in actualizing that tawhid in knowing allah and fulfilling those seven criteria of belief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your soul begins to live and when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows your soul to live you are alive wallahi 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 there are people who walk the earth today dead and there are people who are in poverty and depression and have nothing in their life but they live and they enjoy life from the inner and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says awa man kana maytan give them the example of the one who was dead spiritually had no iman fa and we gave to that man and woman life in their chest wa ja'alna lahu nura and we made their heart show them the light their eyes see what others don't see their ears accept the word of allah in a way that others don't their heart is awake by the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in comparison to the one to whom allah says kamam mathaluhu fi dhulumat can that alive person be made equal to the one who is in the darkness of their life that darkness is only removed by the light of allah allah nur as samawati wal ard abdullah o servant of allah the moment your life darkens brighten it by returning to allah the moment the sun is setting in your life ask it to rise wal duha look at the words given to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the first 10 surahs in the quran are all about daybreak and sunrise wal fajr wal duha wal shamsi wa duhaha an awakening of your spirit reignite our faith in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al ali al qadir the able and the willing to make us from those who receive his baraka on the day of juma And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to write all of us here with the maghfirah that he sent to us on the day of Jumu'ah. Amen. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us in our homes and with our families. Amen. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen our faith and to make solid our feet. Amen. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our dua on behalf of others and for ourselves. Amen. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give islah and righteousness to the youngsters of Islam. Amen. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive the mistakes that we commit. and to honor us with the righteous deeds that will evaporate them and extinguish them before our death allahumma amin, amin. allahumma izz al islam wa al muslimin wa akhdh al a'da'a ka a'da'a al din allahumma inna alayhim ya arham ar rahimin allahumma inna nas'aluka imanan la yartad wa na'iman la yamtad wa qurratu ayn la tanqata wa murafaqata nabiyyina muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi jannat al na'im allahumma ahdina wa ahd bina waj'alna sababan liman ihtada اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم واقم الصلاه